Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. You know, some days you wake up in the morning with a question on your mind. Like, what is an electric guitar? An electric guitar is a guitar equipped with electric or magnetic pickups that permit its sound to be amplified and fed to a loudspeaker. The first electrically amplified guitar was designed in 1931 by George Beauchamp and Paul Barth of National Guitar Corporation. Commercial production began in late summer of 1932 by the Ropat Inn Corporation, which was eventually renamed the Rickenbacker Electro-Stringed Instrument Company. During the 1950s and 1960s, the electric guitar became the most important instrument in pop music. It has evolved into an instrument that is capable of a multitude of sounds and styles in many music genres. An electric guitar is a guitar that uses one or more pickups to convert the vibration of its strings into electrical signals. The vibration occurs when a guitarist strums, plucks, picks, or taps the strings. The pickup used to sense the vibration generally uses electromagnetic induction to do so, though many other technologies exist. In any case, the signal generated by an electric guitar is too weak to drive a loudspeaker, so it is sent to a guitar amplifier before being sent to the speaker, which converts it into audible sound. Since the output of an electric guitar is an electric signal, it can be electronically altered to change the timbre of the sound. Often, the signal is modified using effects such as reverb, distortion, overdrive, delay, and a host of other effects. Early electric guitar manufacturers include Rickenbacker in 1932, Dobro in 1933, National in 1934, Epiphone and Gibson in 1935, and many others by 1936. One of the most popular guitars in the world, the Gibson Les Paul Solid Body Electric Guitar, was first sold by the Gibson Guitar Corporation in 1952 and was designed by Gibson President Ted McCarty, factory manager John Hewis and their team, along with guitarist inventor Les Paul. Leo Fender, assisted by draftsman Freddie Tavares, began designing what was to become one of the world's most popular guitars, the Fender Stratocaster, in late 1953. Since that time, thousands of guitar builders and manufacturers have conceived and distributed numerous variations of this amazing instrument. Because of this, guitarists and music lovers all over the world will continue to experience unending enjoyment from the music of these fine instruments until the end of time. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.